All right, get up, you can see it is 614, 53 degrees outside. Now, Pocahontas and the true story of Jamestown is actually a lot darker than the movie. Matt Gregory explains it all in this week's In History. Welcome back to This Week in History, where in this episode, we revisit that romantic comedy classic, Pocahontas. Where a tall, blonde-haired, blue-eyed John Smith... Was he played by Ryan Gosling? Oof! That velvety voice of his... ...falls in love with the for sure equally aged Native American woman named Pocahontas. In actuality, John Smith was a short, stocky brunette. Pocahontas was most definitely 10 years old and they were never together. This week in history, we ponder. Ponder, ponder. How did the founding of Jamestown both start a brand new country and also create the building blocks for years and years of racial oppression in the United States? Get your swimmies on, we're going to the deep end. The year was 1607 and the English were making a second attempt to create a successful colony in the new world. I know people live here and have been here forever, but this is mine. John Smith and the other settlers landed in modern day Virginia and started Jamestown on May 14th. And boy, oh boy, did they pick a terrible spot for their new city. The marshes of the peninsula were a breeding ground for mosquitoes and therefore malaria, and the area was horrible for planting, which led to, and this is pretty literal, an era called the Starving Time. As the colony struggled to survive, colonists discovered tobacco. Oh, tobacco! Could be a fertile crop that could actually save the colony, but it also increased the need for cheap labor. Who knew racism was just, just around the river bend? Scene. Now, many of the early settlers were indentured servants. Indentured servitude is when a person serves a wealthy landowner, and the wealthy landowner pays for their room, board, and transport to the new world. Once their debt is paid, they're free. And early indentured servants actually included African settlers. But then it became obvious that this wouldn't do. Indentured servants get to leave, and landowners didn't like that. At this point, European slave trade was actually ramping up, and that made for a much more efficient system of cheap labor. So let's recap. Some Africans began as free people in the New World, and then through a series of laws, as well as tax incentives, we were able to create one of the worst atrocities in human history right here on the shores of a New World. Over the next 400 years, this culture of dehumanization combined with a form of legal oppression that created a cultural and racial divide that continues to affect minorities to this day. Now, without Jamestown, we don't have the United States of America. But when we look back on history, sometimes it's important to examine the things that happened and say, yeah, but what were the costs? 